Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So guess what? I already prepped and primed my nails, so I'm just starting out my set today. I'm doing a green and white set. And a little bit of glow in the dark action is going to be happening. Y'all know once I'm doing my nails, it has to glow, okay? Yeah. So, I'm using this um, milky white mix that I made. And this beautiful glitter green. Um, I think I made both of these colors. Um, yeah, I had some green pigment that I bought that was supposed to be glow in the dark pigment, and it never glow. So I ended up having to buy other glow in the dark pigment to add to the glow in the dark pigment. Isn't that come some? Isn't that some bold? Anywho, I'm not mad because I got this beautiful green color, and it goes on really smooth. But I just added some glitter to it, you know, to get look of life and make it extremely pretty. So, I'm just doing a sideways slanted ombre type thing. And I'm just going to keep it moving. I'm going to come back later on and encapsulate all my, um, my nails in clear. But for right now, I'm just going to go through all the fingers. I'm basically doing a ombre on each nail. I think I'm switching it up. I'm thinking I'm doing green at the tips and then white and then white and then green. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. But me no mean back as a while back. Me do this and me just I go back feet right now. I'm just digging up stuff guys because you know um, sometimes I'm not um, the best together person. So when I do have when I do have good days like today I will go in there and get them out and just you know edit them and have them uploaded for you guys okay so here I go I'm just basically gonna be doing uh, ombre on each of the nails with the green and white on this nail the green is plain I didn't feel like um, using the glitter on all the nails so the green on this one is plain and then the other ones are I think I switched up the white as well because the glitter was on the top so this white has glitters in it you might not be able to see it but yeah this white has glitter in it it's really adorable and I wish that I had put some more acrylic right there because I can see it and you see how long I'm gone I'm just moving on to the next finger I knew it I knew I was I thought I was gonna be doing a you know different type of ombre but I'm doing all the fingers down in the in the base in white and then all the tips are going to be green I guess oh yeah I just remember this set now it was so pretty too and the glow in the dark one is cool as could be I love it <laughs> So here I come back with the glitter, the green glitter, and it's so cute and sexy and buttery. I should have added something else to this set, but I thought it was cute enough by itself. So, I guess I just didn't feel like doing any more other than what I already did. Okay, so now moving on to my... Uh, Pinky. Sorry about that. I am about to go into bed. I am not, um, I didn't sleep last night. Some nights I don't sleep. I have insomnia. I just sit up on marathon. I don't even do anything productive. You would think, okay, I'm up, you know, might as well go get some work in. I can't even think straight. So I just don't stress myself. I try to relax when I'm up. I try to relax and just enjoy some, you know, TV, do something other than stress. I just de-stress by watching some videos and enjoying some Netflix. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, I'm moving out to the thumb and that is it, guys. It's a really simple set. And, uh... I'm just doing basically a green and white ombre. Simple, simple, simple. I like to feather that part down. Sometimes it's way too thick. And then when you try to add your other color, it makes this big 
prominent line so I like to fade it out and make sure you work on your side walls to make sure that there's no spilling over on the sides you just want to make sure that everything is nice and neat and on your nail not under it and all your sides are perfect I started out right there to make sure that the green is covered and just make sure you work your sides because it will try to collapse into your cuticle areas and you don't want to have that so you make sure you work the sides and then you pull your bead down the nail and just keep it moving I'm going to be adding my last bead I'm just gonna work that into the cuticle area please do not touch the cuticle if possible and if you do just use your brush and go around the cuticle and wipe around the cuticle area any product that could be touching the skin you want to go ahead and take that off off the cuticle just like I just did right there and then any areas that needs a little bit of patching you want to go ahead and patch and fix because you don't want to see that green through the white um, no you don't okay you don't want dirt I'm going to fix that corner right there because that's what's bothering me so I know if I see it on here I know I saw it then okay so I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate everything in clear and I don't even have to tell you guys what I'm doing oh and the brush of choice is Poochie's number 12 100% Kalinsky um, I got it from the nail art boutique but if you just look up Poochie's on um, Instagram you will find her she sell amazing products you can go and check it out I love using her products and her brushes are amazing and the prices are very competitive yes because of the quality it, it really is worth it so if you want to invest in yourself if you're just starting out as a nail tech and you want to invest in yourself I would recommend it okay so now that I've I have my whole entire nail set I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate everything in clear acrylic and I like to encapsulate all my work in clear because I don't want to go ahead and file away that um, beautiful ombre that I just made but some people choose to file it just like that but I like to add a little bit of clear it's a strength powder so I like to use a strength powder to cover my um, my my ombres and my color acrylics because some colors are not strong so I like to use the clear because the clear is the strongest of all the acrylic polymers okay so that's what I'm doing that's it and if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel I wish you would go and hit that subscribe button right now hit the bell as well so that you will be notified every time I upload a video and you can also go ahead and follow me on all my social medias the links will be in the description below and if you would like to donate to the growth of this channel and to this aspiring nail tech would like to go to nail school I have a PayPal me link and my cash app is in the description below as well and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video because that is it for me today oh oh I forgot did I mention it I know I had mentioned it but I'm gonna say it again before I leave these bee fly nails glow in the dark okay them glow in the dark it would be pointless for me to do my nails if they didn't glow in the dark okay I don't know I'm obsessed I think it makes me happy when you're depressed and you see these beautiful things glow in the dark it turns on it, it gives you something to enjoy so that's why I like it and I hope you like it too okay guys bye always remember to be fly like Regina needs to be fly because me all the year bye bye